Hello YouTubers, 350 here. Uh, as I may have mentioned in the previous video, I would have, or I was going to do a video on my, uh, I believe it's 1932. It was stamped somewhere on it. Um, anyhow, I have a pretty old General Electric Deluxe refrigerator here. And, uh, as you can see down there on the bottom, we're going to take a closer look in a minute, but that's a compressor. Uh, I remember, and I can't see anywhere on it, so it must have faded off, but I, I remember seeing uh, May 1932 uh, stamped on it somewhere. Uh, right, there's usually a light, there's a light in the back of it there, but right now I have it uh, defrosting. And uh, it's unplugged. Here's a closer look at the monster of a compressor that's under here. Uh, some of the uh, nameplate or the number plate is faded off there but it does say type CF 22 dash something General Electric and it has the numbers 40-404-006 stamped in it, stamped into it but it says refrigerating machine uh, refrigerant content Type Freon 12. And as you can see, if you look at look at some of the cords on these, that is uh, copper conductor. It works, so we pretty much just uh, don't disturb it. There we go. General Electric Refrigerator Type PB840-B uh, Made in New York And stamped or something you don't see every day made in USA One monster of a compressor There's the uh, base of it I just popped that off to show you guys the workings of it. I'm not an expert with uh, old refrigerators, but I could have sworn I saw 1932 somewhere. I could be wrong. If anybody has an idea, let me know. Uh, but it works great. And um, uh, the rating, the amperage rating on that compressor is only depending upon how many hertz. If between 50 and 60 hertz it ranges from uh, two to three and a half amps um, and it's got a 25 watt bulb in the back of it there's another bulb that can go in here but uh, we've never put one in has its own built-in uh, thermometer if you want to call it that it doesn't work well as you can as you can see here apologize for the lighting um, but right in here it says too cold and uh, obviously room temperature is not too cold but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bottom back on it and let it finish the frosting usually you only have to do this once or twice a year uh, but this summer has been extremely humid and I do not have air conditioning so uh, takes a little bit extra but we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, only two prong give her the juice you can hear the compressor fire up pretty quiet under there So I'm going to close this door and uh, let her cool off. 
but there she be. Doesn't freeze anything. Keeps vegetables a lot fresher longer. I uh, can't argue. Deluxe. The General Electric.